is it possible for an ai to design a structural member solely based on the data to get answer to this very question i thought of creating a machine learning model that would predict the section size for a simply supported pane let's see what i have done before moving to that for the ones who are new here i am parshit jain a regular structural engineer with passion towards automation and ai just check out my channel i predict a huge probability that you might like it coming back to the video we are going to predict the size of a simply supported pane provided the unsupported length and the actual moment from the applied loads this is going to be our problem statement right this video is split into three parts the first one is going to be creating the data set for model training secondly we are going to use perplexity ai to create the model without any code we are going to generate the code from the ai right so it is a no code approach and the third step is verifying the prediction with the actual stat results right without further delay let us jump in the first step creating a data set for any ml model the most important thing is data and if we could get our hands on a large data set then it will be very simple to train the model with minimum data set the model might probably predict incorrectly keeping this in mind in order to predict the section size based on the moment capacity and unsupported length we need to feed similar input to the model that too in a very large volume to tackle this task i use my very old excel sheet which i prepared while doing optimization with genetic algorithm i think if you are interested in that i will provide the link to the video in the cards as well as in the description do check that out so the excel this excel program to calculate moment capacity was right in my hand but to train a model i require a very huge data manually inputting the values for the section and uh, unsupported length and copying down the moment capacity is a tiresome process to avoid the tedious process and work i wrote a simple vba script which have taken around like 15 or 20 minutes to me with the help of chat gpt okay that automatically changes the section name and supported length and copy down the capacity to another excel sheet from this one which i use as a data to train the model so with the end of this process we have the data in our hand if you could see i have the section sizes and their weight for the first five columns followed by the unsupported length and their corresponding moment capacities calculated as per is 800 2007 as i have shown in the previous excel sheet with this automation process i have calculated the capacity for around 2000 plus sections and for unsupported lens ranging from 1500 to 15000 with an increment of 100 mm in just few minutes step 2 creating the model with the data set in hand let us move on to perplexity ai I have attached the data set and then wrote a prompt as shown here. It is really a very basic prompt and I just filled whatever I thought in my mind without any structure. To my surprise, the perplexity understood what I asked for and then generated a python code as per the request. I was like in a total hurry to check out the model. So, quickly opened the Google Colab and then pasted the code. all we have to change is the path to the data set to train if you see here i would have changed the path to the google drive pointing out data set that's all completing this simple task i perform the prediction and to my surprise it is totally working yeah we got our result right let us try with some different values here and let us check whether it is providing a higher or lesser value compared to the previous one right after few trials like i am convinced it is providing a proper result now it is time to verify step 3 verifying the result with star for verification i have created a simple joy section and applied the dead load and live load with a combination 1.5 dead load and 1.5 live load okay so if you see the utilization ratio of this particular beam it is terrible right around 7.5 now 
Now let's go to steel design and find the actual moment. It is around 72 and the unsupported length for lateral torsional buckling is 3.6 meter. Right. With these values as input, let's run our model and see what we get. For the moment, let's provide 77. So like around 5 units higher on the conservative side and the unsupported length as 3600. Right. So yeah we got our predicted section let's go back to stat and check the beam for this particular section the beam is passing with a high utilization ratio yes we did it so our model is predicting the sections correctly which can be used to optimize any simply supported beam from here on and that's all for this video if you are here till this end, then you would definitely like a similar video where I trained a chat GPT to create a STAD model using a specific prompt. Do check that out as well.